Welcome to the Blueprint Podcast. Come explore the roadmap of our shifting consciousness where self-actualization, exposing your talents and gifts is the norm. Now here's your host, Angela Blaha. Hey everyone, welcome to the Blueprint Podcast. I'm Angela Blaha and I have Renee Keen with me again today. Hello Renee, how are you? Hello, I'm wonderful. How about yourself? I'm great. Great. All right. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I want to continue down this path of potency because it seems very, very, very important right now. And we need to understand it, I feel, in our shifting consciousness here. Mm-hmm. And um, in my meditation this morning, it's all about potency and your intention and how it really actually works. So if you do not know your potency as the creator, as God, as your higher self, whatever word you want to use there, if you do not understand your ability to influence something, then your intention literally falls flat. The reason that it falls flat is because you have energy within you. It's in your either in your DNA, in your thought process, in your emotions somewhere Um, That literally states that you are not that creator, that God, that higher self, and that you do not hold the power. You see how this is like, like there's a spiraling effect here. There's a loop, which this whole entire universe is made out of loops. (laughs) Your Your ability to influence something is one of our greatest powers in our shift in consciousness. I mean, it is the thing that will open up doorways for you. Because when you understand this, you become very aware of what you of what you do and everything completely changes. Like everything. Here's an example. If you have an intention and your intention is to do it out of love, let's say. And you don't have the belief that you have the power to influence, you don't have the potency, then your intention goes nowhere. And it literally falls under the duality, the God of duality, which is what we're what we deal with here on Earth and in this galaxy and universe, actually. Right? Because this universe is made out of duality, complete some level, some extreme of duality. We don't have question about that, I hope, anymore. <laughs> but it but I'm sure we do. But it is this so there's right? So there's this overriding God and with multiple gods under under that God because they all have these extremes, these different levels of uh duality. And if your intention doesn't say that I have the power, I'm the one that holds all the power to influence something, then your intention does nothing. Can you see how that works? Totally. Which, you know, in the past, it's like, oh, well, you set the intention, but, you know, nothing happens. It's like manifesting. Same thing, same premise, right? We have the same belief system around manifestation as we do with intentions. That, oh, if I just say this, it's going to happen. No. You have to hold the power of it. It's bigger than anything that we can actually point our fingers at right at this moment, because we have been exactly as you said, well, I intended that to happen, that I set the intention, but it just constantly, constantly, it's being aware of who you are. And if I want to create the situation, I need to be in a place of understanding and awareness that I can, that I am, and that this will come to be. Right. When there's doubt and all those other pieces, like you said, it falls flat. Intention falls flat. We don't achieve it. It's in the knowing. You yes. stated that so, so perfectly. It's just like, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah when we don't understand how potent we are and we've been under the cloud of illusion right Mm -hmm. 
the shifting consciousness is becoming aware of how powerful and how potent you really are as a being here in this in this space and Mm -hmm. and how quickly we can do it like we talked last week about the speed of it right like everything is speeding up yes because we have to understand and become right that in a very short period of time here we don't have eons you know thousands of years to transform here we have a maximum of 20 20 yeah Yeah. to shift that's how shifts work in consciousness like they they do it very rapidly and very if we're aware of how we are how it's actually working we can plan for it we can prepare for it we can actually change ourselves right we don't Mm -hmm. have to destroy ourselves we can actually work through the process which is what we're doing this time but we can't take forever to do it because we have to change within a very short period of time. Can we do that? Absolutely. One of the things I feel that most people are so afraid of is the power, the potency of their power, their, their potency to influence something. I'd like to speak a little bit to, the understanding that we need to get to that we in understanding ourself and what we can create and what we can do, it is not the same as trying to control a situation. That's the old paradigm. We're not controlling it. We're taking ownership of our part in it and our desires, our goals, our intentions. So it's like drop that whole, I'm going to control how this whole, the outcome, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not controlling the outcome. I am intending it. I am creating it. I am yeah. seeing it. I'm knowing it. It's it's a whole different energy. If you look into the energy of how things feel, it's a whole different energy. So it's drop any um, need or desire for controlling. Take it as your own. You are intending this. You are creating this from your highest potential, from your highest self, from your actualized being. Exactly. That's where we're coming from. Not from all anything old. Right. Yeah. The whole, I think that that's where we've, I think that that is part of this ginormous shift in knowing your power and using your power versus controlling that whole paradigm, like we don't, there's freedom in knowing power and being powerful, right? Mm -hmm. There's not freedom in controlling power. Nope. That's the old hierarchical kind of energy that we- domination and control, yep. Yeah, that we're coming out of, like we, that it's not the same thing. And I think that we get confused because we've been under this, you know, control, (laughs) domination, kind of energy for such a long time how do we actually become powerful right and Mm -hmm. and to the point where we aren't controlling someone else like that's fearful right (laughs) gee only ourselves (laughs) like yeah yeah that's that's the point of oh you're you're only working on yourself right now right Mm -hmm. because when we when we understand how how i can personally use my power to influence my daily life, the, my own body, the way that I think, the way that I feel, the way that I act upon things, right? When I come to that full understanding of I'm the controller here, then we can start to look outside of ourselves. See, we've been doing it backwards all these years. We know? have, yes, we have. Yeah, and it really comes from within us. It doesn't come from without our side, out, outside of us. It becomes from within us. That's where the power lies. And when you understand how potent you are to influence everything around you, you become hyper aware of where you do harm and where you do good. Mm-hmm. You become hyper aware. Then you have to make a decision because you're the one doing it. It's you. It's not somebody else that you can blame. <laughs> exactly. It's you, right? So you and, become, yeah, yeah you, be, you take your time at making decisions and you like really become very conscious 
about what you're doing here. What are you trying to create? It becomes very future focused versus past focused, which is where we've been. And when you spoke about, you know, are, am I doing harm or am I moving, moving in the direction that I'm choosing? There are times when you're in this shift in how to operate that you may discover, oh my gosh, that was a harmful thing to someone or to something or in general, to myself, mostly uh, often, um, and it's okay. Don't don't get all mm-hmm. bent out of shape and and think you're a horrible person. We're learning something new here. This is it. We're learning how to actually be who we are. That's gonna have some times where we might go, oops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So give yourself some grace and love in that, and 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 learn, mm-hmm. and understand, and know. I will. I know better. I will do better next time get it. I see how I set my intention so that it, it moves in the direction I would like it to be. Yeah. Energetically, we are in a very potent energy field right now where old, those old kind of patterns are very visible for us. All we have to do is take a second and say, oh, there it is. (laughs) Right. And then your power, your power is to shift it not repeat the pattern any longer. Right. But you have to get, I think that we're, I think where we're very afraid as a being, as a human being is to actually embody our power. You know, we're so used to failure and the whole lack mentality and that whole paradigm of, well, lack the whole paradigm of lack. Yeah. And when you move into fulfilling your desires and, like thriving and all of like, that's a big energy, right? And yeah. our, our cells are like, oh, I don't know if I can have, handle that. Or what do I got to heal up in order to handle that energy? Or what do I have to release from in order to handle that energy, right? Yeah. And that's where we are as a consciousness. Like we're really, we're grow busting. <laughs> I mean, the universe is like, eh, come on, we got to go this way. Right. And the energies are very robust right now. And they're, they're right for us to actually dig into this kind of energy, this, where we're going. I think that's why so often we do see those old patterns, old belief systems, old programs pop into our awareness. And and the key right now is to, as you said, recognize them Mm -hmm. and not repeat them. It's not staying stuck in. It's like, oh, there's that again. Well, nope, I'm done with you. Or however you choose to move out of that. But they are ripe for <laughs> making us aware of what they are. Yeah. And it's just don't get yourself uh, caught there. Yeah, just don't get continue, stuck. Continue to move on. Yes, don't get stuck. Yeah. And if you do I find yourself stuck. Will. <laughs> well, I think some people will because Sometimes, I think it's so ingrained in their DNA and they've, if they've not come this lifetime to do any uh, work, I I don't want to call it work, but any growth pattern, Mm -hmm. um, they will feel stuck. You know, Mm -hmm. I mean, heck, even a couple of weeks ago, I felt stuck. So yeah, I do too sometimes. Yeah. 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 And so, you know, if you're, if you're feeling that, then reach out to us because we're here for evolution. only. Absolutely. <laughs> completely. Yeah. No, there are, no, there are ways in which to become unstuck. Mm-hmm. What's and really cool is when you recognize that you are. Yeah. And they're simple. They don't have to be super hard. Mm-mm. Don't have to be a long process. It can be instantaneous. And I, I think that's the other thing. Is are we ready for instantaneous shifts? Right? Like instant, like in this nanosecond. I mean, you kind of have to be ready for that. That and that takes me to the telepathy thing, too. I had a conversation with someone who's like, Well, I heard this in my head. I'm like, Yeah, you were communing telepathically. So you have to be, you might want it, but be ready when it comes in mm-hmm. and recognize that. Yep, you're being communicated with. Wow, is that cool or what? Yeah, exactly. Again, so there's all those things you were talking about. All reverse back to your power and yours, the, pot- the potency, the the, <laughs> the 
you know, that word is like, it's been sitting in my field for a really long time now. <laughs> it's like the potency of it, like the, the, I'm, it's not a heaviness. Like we got to get that out of uh, the duality of potency because there can be a lot of felt responsibility, I think. Oh, that could be that comes with that is okay well if I become the creator of who I am then I'm just taking on another responsibility when we shouldn't have any responsibilities in the first place except for ourselves yeah right that's the only responsibility that we should have no matter your age no matter what your children's ages are no matter what your one responsibility is yourself um, I think that that's, again, something that we need to look at differently, maybe. But I think that people can feel like, oh, it's just another thing to add to my plate. And I don't, I don't want us to go there. I want us to really understand how we can completely influence um, not only daily living, but the giant picture. I mean, how many of us are so frustrated with the way the world is going and we feel powerless. Well, that's the whole problem. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't feel, we should not be powerless. We shouldn't feel powerless. We should be using our power to influence the, the way that life, the, the way that things are going here. And when you say, or when we say influence with our power, I don't want everyone to think that it's going to be this massive influence and the whole world's going to change just because I've stepped into my power. I'm not saying that can't happen. Good. It's little simple shifts in how you actualize who you are and in how you recognize your power that influences the rest of the world mm -hmm. actually look at their own power. So it's not like you're taking on, I'm changing the world. Right. Well, you are because you're changing who you are and who you see yourself as and how you behave in this existence, which in essence changes the world. Mm -hmm. But don't have that fear that you might corrupt the world or, <laughs> you know, that whatever you do is the ultimate or the end result. No, it's a part of it. We're all one. Mm -hmm. So all our pieces create this beautiful expansion of what we're becoming all together. Yeah. We all have a ripple effect within yep. the greater whole. And so, you know, it's not like we have to go out and do marches and overcome governments and do any of that <laughs> stuff. Just us saying, Oh, I'm, I have power and I'm going to not engage in this activity mm -hmm. or I'm not going to, you know, believe in that, that yeah. shifts it. It does. We have to start thinking and seeing and believing in energies, frequencies, and vibrations. That's mm -hmm. where the power lies. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I'm not engaging and believing in, um, I don't know, higher prices, let's say higher prices for uh, groceries. If I don't partake in that, and let's say maybe I will have to like, you know, grow my own food that's what that's what we do to not partake in that is I grow on my own food um or I buy from a local person versus mm -hmm. a bigger construct mm -hmm. right or mm -hmm. I you know I do something that's going to have an influence that way and mm -hmm. I don't I don't believe that we have to have these kinds of highs and lows with money and I don't believe that we have to have um I believe that money is a tool that we use an energetic tool that we use in an exchange because it's a concrete way of actually doing it. But if you actually move into the power of who you are, well, you know, Jesus did say that you can create anything that you want. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so why not just create money? Not fake money, but you know, <laughs> like just create your, your, create what you need. Like that's, that's where your power lies so and there's places. yes and then there's our voice which is a frequency in and of itself mm -hmm. be very aware of what your voice projects out to others that can be an influential voice 
or it can follow the follow the plan. Just Control. like you were talking about the, the groceries and, you know, people get in that conversation about the high prices or whatever. Well, you can add to that fuel if mm-hmm. you say, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, or you can just simply not partake in the conversation or say, as Angela did, well, I grow my own. Yeah. Come up with alternative solutions. That's mm-hmm. creating. That's, that's you, creating. You holding power, you being the influence in the vibration, you being the, an influencer. Like every Mm -hmm. one of us can be an influencer. We don't have to be, you know, a rock star to have influence. But we can influence everyone and everything around us, which also has a ripple effect because then they will influence someone. And, you know, it's a a domino. Yeah, it is. So that's a very simple way. Be aware of what frequency comes out of your lips. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What are you talking about with people? Mm -hmm. You know, we have communication all the time, every single day, there's communication happening. How are you participating in the field of communication? <laughs> right? Are you buying into the domination, the control factors, the paradigm, the programming that's that's a mainstream programming? Are you actually reiterating that when you're like out with people? Do yep. you actually believe in that kind of thing? Or is there something else that you're looking at? You know, like, yeah, like, I don't even, I try really hard to not even participate in that whole like, extravaganza. I agree. And, and that's one of the things that I'm really conscious of because a lot of times um, there are groups of people that I might hang around with or go with that don't see things like I see them. So I'm always very conscious of what verbiage comes out of my mouth <laughs> to not join into the yes. that energy and try to raise the vibration just by being. Mm-hmm. Does that make any kind of sense? But yeah. you have to co- become aware of that. You have to become aware of who the people are that you can, can verbally speak to certain things. And there are people who aren't ready yet. Right. So what can I say that they will hear? Mm-hmm. That won't be looked at as a uh, woo-woo crazy lady. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you using your power, right? Using your yeah. ability to influence. Yeah. And I don't care. I'm, don't get me wrong. I don't care if somebody says that. It's just I really want to be the influencer mm-hmm. that people say, whoa, I didn't think of it that way. Exactly. That, that wasn't in my awareness. And words can do that. Mm-hmm. Very simply, they can. Yeah. Yeah, it's very sure. Yeah. Anything else to add to this potency, intention, using our power? I think it's one of the most important that we need to become aware of and start to uh, resonate with is how do we actually influence the frequencies? How do we actually influence just with our thoughts, with our emotions? with the words, with our actions, with all the things, um, because it's it's how we are shifting the consciousness. All said. Yeah. I think that you just nailed it, and your description at the beginning really said what we're focusing on. Yeah. yeah. Be. Be yeah. who you are. Be yeah. who you are. Be the influencer. Be the amazing being that you came here to be. Yeah. Use your potency. For sure. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And uh, until next week, I hope that you resonate with the powerful (laughs) influencer that you are. (laughs) Thank you for being with us today. To find out more about Angela, visit her website at www.angelablaha.com.